Man, it's been it's been great. It's everything I could ask for and more. Everyone here is, you know, great, great people. Everything I love, Mexico City. I wouldn't mind coming down and training again, but the elevations, man, it's kicking my butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. First couple of days I thought I was gonna die. I need a need a hospital, but <laughs> I'm getting better and better with breathing the elevation. So yeah. Uh keep your hands up at all times. I said it once before and I'll say it again. He's scary and they're with you, you know. As soon as he throws, it's like he's fast, explosive, and the punches are hard. So at all times, you have to just keep your hands up and be ready. <laughs> like, you know, uh, you need to work your offense, but then he's so strong that you have to worry about defense at all times. So it's hard to do what you want to do in there with him because he's just so good and so explosive. I'm a veteran in the game. You know, I'm I'm 34, and he's 23, but he's he's a man. Like, he's supposed to be, like, still young, but – He's a man. <laughs> like, he's strong when he hits you. Like, it doesn't feel like a 23 0. I want to see Pitbull be Pitbull if he comes out there and, and fights like he does and fights like he does in the ring. And I'm sure he will because one thing that I have to say, go back to the Javante Davis fight, is when I was watching, I was I was just amazed at he never broke like his, he was locked in and composure, his facial expression was the same the whole entire fight. Like, you know, the crowd was on Javante Davis' side the whole time, like everyone was against him. but. He didn't break or anything, like kept the same composure and everything, went out there and, you know, super close fight. And so I think he does that, which he does in the gym and every day. He doesn't break, keeps in composure and fights like a veteran. He's gonna knock, he's gonna knock Gamboa out. And me, while well, I'm a good spawn partner for Gamboa is because he, he used to be one of my favorite fighters a long time ago. So I used to try and fight like Gamboa, you know, and I really, I really love Gamboa, his style and everything, but like the pressure that, that Isak puts on him, I think it's going to be a knockout. Like, I, if I had to predict, I would say between rounds four through seven, knockout's going to come. Is he has a very good style for Gamboa because he keeps pressure. Like, if you sit back and give him too much time, Gamboa's going to outthink you and slow the pace down, and he's going to be able to outbox you. But I think Cruz, with his pressure style, he's not going to let you think. And then on top of that, that Gamboa's a little older. His legs are slowed down now. I think it's perfect timing for him for Cruz to get the knockout. And he's right there at the top where any given day he can be a world champion. I've sparred, I sparred everyone. You know, I've sparred uh, Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, um, Ryan Garcia. But Ryan was, like, younger when we sparred. And I sparred pretty much, I sparred George Cambosa, everyone in the division you can think of. I sparred them all. I sparred him, and he's right there with everyone, all the champions. So it's only a matter of time and an opportunity, and he's going to become champion, I think. Pues yo de mi parte voy a dar lo mejor para que sea una pelea entretenida y bueno ya está en, en Junior Kiss Gamboa si sale a dar pelea o sale a bailar. Pues es lo que estamos esperando y vamos a ver si, si realmente quiere seguir, si no vamos a ver si ya su tiempo ya pasó, que ahora es mi momento y yo voy a dar lo mejor y no voy a regalarle nada a nadie. Bueno, pues es algo que a mí me, no me incomoda ni me presiona. Yo, yo sé del, del tipo de peleador que soy, de la calidad que tengo en mi trabajo y de lo que puedo desenvolver arriba del ring. Y bueno, nada más el, el punto de, de la presión es, es mínimo porque pues yo sé lo que trabajé, lo que llevo y para lo que voy a brindar en la pelea. No, totalmente estamos trabajando o trabajamos todo el campamento para conseguir la victoria. Y bueno, si no se llega a dar la victoria sabemos que vamos a ir a dar lo mejor de nosotros. Eh, pues en, en primera el tiempo adecuado, sabemos que de la de Gerbonta me dieron un mes de, de preparación y ahorita me dieron dos meses y medio, entonces tuve el tiempo adecuado para descifrar un plan de trabajo, trabajarlo bien y no poner pretextos y culminarlo nada más. No, pues de mí puede esperar una gran pelea porque pues para eso me preparé, voy a ir a dar lo mejor de mí y voy a ir a conquistar ahora eh, Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.